Welcome back everybody. Hopefully everyone's having a great week so far. Uh, definitely better than Will Smith is having at least. <laughs> Eesh, boy. Will Smith. William, William, William the Smithsonian. I don't know man. I don't know. So I grew up watching Will Smith uh, as a teenager and uh, yeah, he's one of the few actors that I actually did uh, yeah, respect. I still kind of do it to uh, to this day. So, so I have the Red Series, and apparently Jada Smith <laughs> has the Red Table Series. And uh, yeah, so she's had uh, Will Smith uh, on the Red Table Series a couple of times and uh, you know I've kind of stayed away from this uh, stuff uh, for as long as uh, as long as I could but now it's pretty much turning up on every every time I watch YouTube it's always in my feeds so my curiosity got the better of me I don't generally do reaction videos to uh, this kind of thing but I think uh, this is kind of important uh, because Will Smith, you did this to yourself. As much as I love you, man, as much as I respected and grew up watching you, I gotta say, you did bring all this about to yourself. So, uh, I don't want to make this too long of a video, so we're going to watch two clips. Uh, the first one... Uh, it's from about a year or two ago when uh, one of the first times where Jada had uh, Will on her show with Willow Smith and her mom. So we're not going to watch the entire clip. We're going to watch the clip starting at minute 324. Uh, just so we can actually get an understanding of where, of what kind of man Will Smith is was was so let's start the first clip at minute 324 starting now she cursed at me in front of 20 people at this party she's like will would you shut the f up Ooh. with trey sitting on my lap and i grabbed a newspaper and i said bah! <laughs> Can I talk to you in the other room, please? Oh and I was like, right. this joker just hit me on my head with a newspaper. <laughs> we went in the other room, and I was like, I said, Jada, this is the deal. I grew up in a household where I watched my father punch my mother in the face. I will not create a house, a space, an interaction yeah, yeah, cool. with a person where there's profanity and violence. Mm. If you have to talk to me like that, mm -hmm. we can't be together. Wow. We're not going to use any profanity right. in our interactions. We're not going to raise our voice. We're not going to be violent. I can't do it. Yeah. She was like, well, you're not going to be hitting me in my head. <laughs> I said, get out. She was like, wait, so you would break up with me over some words? I was like, yeah, I just did. <laughs> I was like, we're not cursing. Damn. And her eyes welled up with tears. And she was like, okay, we didn't use any profanity yep. in any we never argument. Raised our we voice. never raised our voices. We took communication courses, yep. all of that. That's and never had a, a violence. Never raised never, your never, voice? We didn't no. raise our voices. So that's where we're going to stop that clip. So this sets the baseline of what kind of man Will Smith was. He was a very traditional man with clear set expectations of what he wanted his relationship with Jada Smith. Very, very commendable. But uh, Will Smith did not bank on how crazy a person Jada is. Jada is an amazingly beautiful, sexy woman that any man would love to be with. 
calling yours truly, but you guys were complete polar opposites. So the I want to set up the backstory of where, because uh, even though this is kind of a reaction video, uh, it's not the first time I saw uh, these clips. I haven't actually sat down to watch the entirety of uh, the uh, Red Table episode with uh, her and Will Smith, uh, where they discuss certain things. So I've watched clips of it here and there, so I know kind of what to expect, but I just need to make it very, very clear that I am not on Jada's side when I say that Will Smith brought all of this up on his own shoulders. I'm not on Jada's side whatsoever, but what I will say is that Jada did not cheat on Will Smith. And the reason why I'm saying that Jada's, Jada did not cheat on Will Smith is because a few years ago they went into an agreement where they were gonna have an open marriage and will in his infinite wisdom accepted those terms he as far as i know stayed loyal he did not go with any other woman but he accepted so I don't know what kind of man goes into a marriage based on a shared bed with other people and expects everything to be just peachy, right? Right? So let's start the video because the video is about uh, 13 minutes. Uh, we're going to trim some of uh, the, the fat uh, as uh, as we go, uh, so it's not going to be like a, most like the whole thing. So this is on Facebook uh, videos, Facebook watch, I think it's called. Uh, so I'm going to leave the links for the, uh, the clips that I've watched in the description so you guys can check them out for yourselves as well. Uh, but keep in mind, whatever happens, Will Smith as much as it sucks as much as i feel for will you played yourself will you played yourself so let's start the video now this red table for me um just all the stuff that's going on in the press mm -hmm. I felt like it was important to come to the table to really clear the air. Somebody made a statement for me that wasn't a statement I made mm -hmm. that went cray cray. And I one of the it. reasons why I wanted to come to the table is the media, the headlines, oh. we specifically never said anything. anything. Yes. We were purposely not saying anything. Any headline that says Jada said or Will said or the Smith said mm -hmm. is not true. We specifically never said anything. Right. So coming to the table was like we just felt like watch it got body to the language. point where you gotta say something. Yeah, and, and and to stop that cycle. Yeah. You know, there's people's feelings involved. Right. Right. You know, and at the end of the day, yeah. I don't like how all of this came to be mm -hmm. that doesn't matter mm -hmm. it's all love mm -hmm. honestly and i would usually not you know <sighs> that that would be something i wouldn't comment on at all yeah you know and i feel like it's a situation that i c consider private you just feel like it ain't really nobody no, nobody it's so private that you guys decided yeah. to make an entire freaking video about but now this. black twitter has claimed it <laughs> black twitter. as their business <laughs> but you know i feel like it's it's healing that needs to happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now yeah even though this is minuscule i do feel like it's these kinds of things that create the world that we're in mm -hmm. and the idea of not communicating yeah. not talking about it not clearing the air and just being as transparent mm -hmm. just Absolutely. being transparent and I'm, I'm here with you. Yeah, I thank you for that, because you've been on a hell of a journey with me. So that's what we're going to start with, is that this with... is a very personal journey yes. that became very public. Yes, absolutely. 
for whatever reason. So what happened, Jada? Okay. So what happened, Jada? So let's start with, I guess about four and a half years ago. Yeah. Started a, I think it was about four and a half, four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, started a friendship with August. Mm -hmm. And we actually became really, really mm -hmm. good friends. Mm -hmm. And it all started with mm -hmm. just needing some help, mm -hmm. you know. Me wanting to help his I'm not help try to go mm -hmm. along with state, Will. Because for me, that was the thing when I when um, when Og first came around, he was he was really, really sick. sick. He was really you know? really sick. Yeah. And the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health. Yeah. And I mean, we found all those different resources, mm -hmm. you know, to help pull him through. There. And, and from I there, you know, know, you and I were going through yeah. a very and difficult time. Yeah. And we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we Marriages have that, though. Yeah. Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, you know, we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yeah. yourself both happy. Both of them had a different idea of what was going well, on that in the relationship. Point in time, it was indefinite. Funny how yeah, that goes. I really felt like we could be over. You yeah, know? no, and, we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think... That, that moment, there, that was... Watching his expression right there, that was heartbreaking. I got into a different kind of entanglement with August. One thing I want to get clear I, about, I, I, clean I, I, up, one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission, um, which is, uh, you know, the only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yes. circumstance is myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But like I said, he gave the okay August for open freaking marriage. Mm -hmm. You freaking moron. I actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated amicably yeah. and I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a homewrecker which he's not I think so I mean because this is your red table and you like brought yourself to the red table I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. I don't think we'll actually as as know what? you and I or understand decided we were going to take our space and what happened yeah and then I got into an entanglement with August, that's yes. what I said. An entanglement? Yes. The entanglement of penises and vaginas? Yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a relationship, absolutely. I was in a lot of pain. Oh. I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say we did everything that we could to get away from each other, only to realize that so that wasn't yeah. possible. So we come to the red table. So I'm in the, I'm in the Jada position right now. So okay. you know you during that time launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted mm -hmm. to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt and really good. Yeah. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. I think that has yeah, a lot How about to you do help heal your husband and your relationship and not go fucking around with other people, had to learn huh? To break in the cycle. Just that idea of needing to fix and the dude that gave you all his life and his everything, whether it's your health or whether it's including your his freaking family. Mm -hmm. There's something about that childhood trauma mm -hmm. um, that feels as though it can be fixed through yeah, that's fixing people. what sex can mm -hmm. repair, right? Versus absolutely nothing. Fixing me. Yeah. And I think that that whole process with Aug really showed me that. Oh, what a great guy that August was. And I'm huh? really grateful for that lesson. I feel like that husband, like I'm with you at the press conference. <laughs> and that husband, I'm with, now I got to be with you at the press conference while you like tell the world uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> well, 
Like, I love, I love my baby. I'm gonna stand by my baby no matter what. Well, you know, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely understand um, why it would look that way or feel that way. But I actually don't look at it as a transgression well, to at her all. Was not a through transgression. that particular it's journey, I learned so much mm -hmm. about so she myself did not do anything and was wrong able to eyes, really confront eyes. a lot of emotional immaturity, yeah. emotional insecurity, mm -hmm. and I was really able to do some really deep healing, mm -hmm. you know? And as I came through and started to realize certain things about you and I, he decided Jada, no matter what you say, you to cannot make him understand. Right. Which yeah. was totally understandable. Right. Um, and I let that be, and hadn't talked to him since. Yeah. So it is a little weird that all this stuff is coming out now, since this was Yeah, because for me, this was years ago, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, so the fact that it's uh, coming up now, and I think it could feel weird for people that we're laughing and, and talking about it, but... It happened so long ago. You know, and our experiences of working through it, fighting through now it, he's talking, talking through, through his job. it, uh, therapizing... Talking through it, walking through it. Through it. I think See that what that looks like and what that sounds weird. like. It sounds yeah. like an angry, when angry I say it's person, been a right? Healing on my life, and just what I had to confront and discover. Yeah. You know about myself, yeah. the ugly truths she is such and the beauty. A so woman. it was something that I felt like wasn't really ready to be mm -hmm. discussed because it hadn't been that. Mm -hmm. Healing. Because She's sitting there across the table to, from you know, a man that's freaking cut right open. So long. You know Chest. what I mean? So I don't know. This, this, right this open. all seemed very And she's talking about healing strange, and loving you know. and making somebody else but I'm happy. Just, I'm grateful for the journey that you and I have had together. Yeah. Because I feel like there are a lot of couples that go through those periods. Yeah. And a lot of couples that have to separate and yep, it's over. Yep, and, move on, stop know, talking. The one thing I'll say about you and I is that there's never been secrets. Right. We came together uh, young and we were both broken in our own I think it's like a third time that he tells her that he was dealing with things mistakes too and she did not acknowledge of any of them your family is so but poor August critical. she needed to help him heal it's the idea of any relationship happy. and trying to get to deeper understanding of love is going to be forged in fire yeah. there's no way around it yeah. and I think that one of the things that I'm deeply grateful in this whole process between you and I is that we have really gotten to that new place yes. of unconditional love. I wasn't you should sure not have, Will. You. you should not know. have. Yeah, like you should have filed the fact for that divorce. I'm speaking to you again is a, <laughs> is a miracle. Um. <laughs> I would agree. I Whatever would he says know, before he laughs is his heart. true There's just feelings. Certain this is how guys like us you have deal to go through with and situations. Like, and I wish, you know, I wish that wasn't the case. I do. I wish that wasn't the case. I, wish wasn't the case. Hey, I sure wish it could be all magic and mirror. Yeah. You got to go through some to get the answers. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm just happy because I definitely believe that you and I we never, ever, ever yeah, thought yeah. that we would make yeah, it back. Yeah, yeah. There's a real power in the he hates, he hates just her. knowing somebody's he hates riding her. with you no matter what. Yeah. And you really can't know that. Until you go through, until some, you through some stuff, you know? I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first, and then... You're going to get me back. I think you've gotten me back. I think you... <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> I haven't heard anything that might have been true. You know, yeah, but, um, and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. <laughs> no, for me, either. Okay. Um, I'll give you that petty <laughs> if that's what you want. <laughs> um, but, you know, I will definitely say. Mm -hmm. What is just part of it? Nothing of what happened is just part of a normal relationship. Nothing. We die together. Bad marriage for life. Yeah, bad marriage for life. Will does not believe in divorce. It's the truth. It's the truth. Stupid, stupid. But yeah. It's uh, it's just part of the journey. I told you the first year we were were married. What'd you tell me? That 
I can love this you through anything. Not through this. And I didn't believe you. Yeah. If somebody looked through a crystal ball and said, this, 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 and this is going to happen, I'd be like, no way. Yeah. You thought I was that, that I didn't have the girth that it was going to take to ride with I you didn't, through. Yeah. I didn't know if you would be willing to find the deep capacity to love me. Yeah. Well, I fuck around How with other doing? With other doing? Guys, huh? Great. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Jada. Okay, so look. As you guys can tell, I'm a bit upset. I've had some reactions watching this video. So being a guy that's been through a situation like Will Smith has been through, I'm gonna talk to all the guys right now. Actually, you know what? Even some of the the girls uh, watching the video, because a strange amount of women are following my <laughs> channel for whatever reason. Hey, I, I welcome it. It's great. Uh, but uh, listen, if your other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your fiance tells you that they don't want to have a committed relationship with you. If they tell you that they want to have an open relationship with you, there's something that you really, really, if you don't get that point, you are going to be going through some hella hurt times that will not be over anytime soon. That person is telling you, you and nobody else, they're going to stick with you, but you are not who they want. And if you stick with that person, they will ruin your life. But more importantly, you will ruin your life unless you are absolutely certain that an open relationship is what you want and this relationship that you're in is not going to be for the long run if you want something that's going to last forever if you want something to lead into marriage you do not go through an open relationship the numbers are there you guys can do your own research but the moment that person says they want to be with you and other people they're telling you that you are not enough for them and you are not meant to be with them there you, you you're there as a time filler as a space filler is another way that you can look at it so will smith accepted an open marriage with jada pinkett smith A person that was complete opposite of who he was and he accepted it so look whatever has happened uh, to their relationship I really feel bad for Will Smith but it's more of a pity and I'm I've lost so much respect for uh, for the for the actor as a man Just because you're married to somebody does not mean that you have to stay with them. There, like, he is a man that believes in God. He is a man that believes in God. And scripturally, you are allowed to divorce your husband, your wife. If one, they don't honor their end of the marriage, meaning sex, grounds for divorce. If the person dies, also grounds for divorce. Infidelity, grounds for divorce. So Will, I don't know what it is that this woman has over you. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting revenge because these type of people 
will ruin their own lives to ruin your life. Now, everybody around the world, millions of people, know what happened. And in no uncertain terms, you are a beta. You are a double beta male. You're a beta beta male. Sign those papers and get the hell out of there. She ruined your life. She ruined your kid's life. You did not want to raise your kids that way. There's been plenty of articles that have come out that discuss how you are at odds with the way Jada Pinkett Smith, drop that freaking Smith, Jada Pinkett raise, has been raising your children. That's what you said. She raises the kids. You're just a passenger. What happened to the bop <laughs> with the newspaper? Not a punch, but the bop with the newspaper when you took her in the back room and you told her, look, I am a man of respect and I demand respect. I treat you with respect. I expect the same back. What happened to that man? I'll tell you what happened to that man. That woman remembered that incident and she buried it somewhere deep, deep inside herself and never let it go. And this is all the results of you getting involved with a person that you should never have. But yet, you will continue being with her. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about this. So guys, remember, your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, fiance wants a open relationship or does not want to have a committed relationship with you. That's all you need to know. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great rest of your life. We're, we're out. We're done. That's all you got to do. Very, very simple, very, very easy. And you will save yourself years and years of pain and frustration. So I'm actually freaking done with this video. So I hope you guys took something from the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, if anyone is going through that situation, my words rang true with them and they've gained some wisdom out of it through my own personal mistakes and experience. So as always, leave a like in the video, leave a comment, and if you want to continue supporting my channel, let's see if we can, how fast we can get to 1000 subscribers. Guys, like we're at 600 and almost 630 subscribers the last time I checked it, which was like a couple of uh, hours ago. No freaking idea what happened, but we are blowing up. This channel is blowing up. So hopefully uh, by the end of the year, we can get the, to that 1000 subscriber mark, the 4000 hours watched. We're currently at 2300 hours. Halfway there, guys. Halfway. More than halfway there, actually. <laughs> so, so show your boy some love. And I will always be back with fresh content on the weekly sometimes three times a week but definitely every single week there will be at least one or two new videos and maybe even a couple of uh, live streams here and there so as always Jika Fega <laughs> out thank you very much for watching guys stay safe stay strong I will be back No entanglements, no entanglements.